In this episode, let's have a look at how to correct your white balance using DaVinci Resolve 10. Check this out. Now, I need to give you a little background before we get started here. I am learning color grading. I am not an expert. I come from a photography background, so I've done some professional photography work. I am a reasonably competent photo editor in Lightroom and Photoshop, but the video is uh, a process that I'm just now learning. So if you're looking for someone that is a little bit more expert because you need to work through this a little faster, then I would. Uh, I have a couple of recommendations for you. Number one, as I mentioned in a previous episode, Alexis Van Herkman has a great book and he also has a video training course for DaVinci Resolve. I would recommend uh, both of those. The book is not so much nuts and bolts, hands-on DaVinci Resolve specific. It's more about how to color grade in general. Here's the philosophy, here's how you would approach it. Um, and the, the video training gets much more into the nitty gritty of DaVinci Resolve itself and how to accomplish each of those things. Another resource that I've used that I've really enjoyed is Color Grading Central. Denver Riddle is a colorist that has set up, um, it's sort of a membership site. I think it's, I don't know what the, the pricing changes. I think it's $150 for six months, but you get full access to everything on his site. And he has some really awesome uh, epi or videos there to teach you how, the very nitty gritty how to use DaVinci Resolve. And uh, it's been a great learning experience for me. And I, and you know, you may find that useful as well if you're trying to get a kind of a faster start and you have a little bit of a budget to invest. If not, you're welcome to, to come along and watch our videos here for free and uh, learn along with us. If you find that we're talking about something and I misrepresent or don't necessarily know, I'm gonna try and you know, try to be very humble about what I don't know. But if you do know something that uh, we cover here that and you know better than I do, feel free to leave a constructive comment. Love to have your input and so that we can all learn together. So let's dive in. I've got this piece of footage here. I've just navigated to it. I'm in my media tab here and I've navigated to this piece of footage I wanna update and I've just dropped it down here into the pool. And then we come over to our edit pane. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new timeline. And then I just take this clip and drop it down here. Now this is where you could actually, you know, trim up your clip and, and see I've got a little camera shake in there near the end so I could pull it back and get rid of that camera shake. So we'll just do that and same thing on the front end I've got it kind of jostles there at the start so there we've got that. So then we come over into our color pane. There we go. Okay so this is actually a pretty good shot and white balancing is you know Typically what I'll do is I'll try, if I have the opportunity, I will do a custom white balance on my camera when I'm shooting it. If you're grading someone else's footage and they may have missed the white balance a little bit, this hopefully will be helpful in those circumstances as well. But this one seems pretty close, but maybe just a little bit off. That doesn't seem exactly white. Now, the first thing I typically do is I will come in here to the curves and then you'll get this eyedropper. I will find a spot within the frame that is either white or is... Um, sort of a neutral gray, uh, a gray that doesn't have any color to it or shouldn't have any color cast to it. And uh, just click in that area somewhere. And what that does is that actually will show you the values here in the, the color curve. So the blue, the green, and the red. And what you'll notice here is that these are misaligned a little bit. It looks like we have a little bit more red in our scene here. We could actually zoom in. And I don't know if you can really see that necessarily, but there is a little bit of a red cast to it. And so we want to correct that. So what we, what I will typically do is first of all, I'll bring up my scopes because that's going to be really helpful in balancing this out. So first of all, we are going to find our scopes, which will be right here. We turn those on. And in this case, I'm most interested in, first of all, let's just go with one up. I'm mostly interested in bringing up the parade. So you can choose how many uh, scopes you show here. We're just going to do one and here I can choose specifically which scope I want to see and I chose parade. Now you, you'll you notice as you look at this the red overall appears to be a little bit hotter than the green and the blue. So that makes sense. That's pretty much what we're seeing here. A little bit more red. And we Same thing we also saw over on the scopes here. So to correct this first of all what I'll do is my whites are, are uh, pretty smashed. I was using a flat picture style to shoot this. So first of all, I'm going to just grab this little thing here and we're going to increase our gain. Not all the way pegged to the top, but enough that it's closer to where we're going to want it in the end. And then what I can do here is in my gain, I like to uh, grab this, the middle wheel here, and move it 
And the way I'm going to do the correction is, and I learned again this from Denver Riddle, the best thing to do is grab this, and if you're trying to color balance, is to either drag up and down or right and left. Don't try to do the diagonal because it gets pretty confusing pretty quickly. So let's just reset that. And again, so I'll improve, sorry, increase the, uh, the luminance here. And then I will grab this middle wheel. And because I know I have too much red, I'm probably going to want to drag it down first as a start. And just watch what happens on this, the, the parade. You notice the red comes down. All right. Now I'm also missing a little bit of blue. So what I probably want to do is go to the right there and that'll bring it up. Okay. So that actually is looking a little bit better. So let's come back to our curves again. We're going to reset that and let's do another reading here. And they're not perfectly lined up, but to my eye, it definitely looks better. And on the scopes, you can see we have less of the red dominating. So that's definitely putting us closer to where I want it to be. Now what I'll do is I'll, you know, of course I'll finish correcting here. I may pull the shadows down a little bit. Again, keeping the scopes in mind. I don't want to crush the shadows, but we could definitely stand to have some more contrast depending on the look you're going for. May have to pull the, high, the, the gain up again. And there we go. We have our cowboy out in the western U.S. riding his horse out in the snowy pasture. And we've uh, done a little bit of color grading there to get it closer to what it really looked like. So that's kind of my basic uh, strategy for doing white balance correction. Now, if, if you know of a better way to do that, or if there's something I did wrong there, certainly feel free to leave us some feedback. Love to learn some more about better ways to do that. That's generally been my approach up until this point. And uh, go ahead and leave those questions down below. Thanks for checking out the episode. Mm -hmm.